What's going on you guys, it's the FPL Penguin back again with a, another video for you all. In today's video, we're going to be talking about, uh, like I did last time with my free hit, best of all, activating my free hit. I'm going to be talking about something I don't have, but I'm here to help you guys if I still had my wild card. We're going to give you some, probably the best team in my opinion, and the best players to target, should we say, on a, on a wild card, on just going to double game week 28. So... If you do enjoy this video, hit the like button and do subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, get in the comments as well, guys. Get in the comments. Uh, so we'll get straight into this without any time to waste. So um, here we go. A bit of disclaimer. No minus 3.4. So the, before we get into it, the players here will go shimmy down. Um, so we don't have to go for this team. Hence, you know, look at the money remaining. Just target the players. Or you can just look at some gems because I did put a poll out if you want to look at some double game of 28 gems or wildcard gems. And all that. So these are the players I'm going for. So you saw a bit of the midfield there, but we're going straight into. It. We're going to start with the goalkeeper and the uh, defense. Uh, the reason I've gone for Saar and Ramsdale there, you know, Saar's got some low fixtures. He's got double game with coming up, and uh, like you see, Sice right there as well. We'll talk a bit about him as well. I think going, I think triple up might be if you can do that, you can do that. But I think for a double Wolves defense, ain't a bad idea going into this game week and so on. Um, Wolves have looked relatively tight, uh, despite, you know, only lost 1-0 to West Ham in the last game week, but they showed that they're a relatively tight unit in that defence. Um, they got Crystal Palace and Watford in a double game week this weekend, and I think that looks really nice for definitely a double Wolves defence, in my opinion, definitely. If you're on wildcard free hit or just doing a free transfer, I think definitely at least get double Wolves defence in, definitely, for especially this game week and onwards. Got Everton, who are 50-50, man, not looking great. Leeds, how are they going to do under a... Have they got a new manager yet? So they use the assistant manager, who knows? But how are they going to do life after Bielsa? Who knows? Uh, they've got Villa then, who look shaky. And then they've got um, at Newcastle too. So I think the next six fixtures there look for Wolves look really nice. And defensively look really, really nice. Ramsdale's also there. He's got a double game week in 29. That's the other double game week. Not as good as this double game week, in my opinion, that's coming up. But he's got Leicester and Liverpool. So if you fancy starting him or having him for that double game week and not having Saar, just go for that. Uh, but Saar's definitely a lovely pick. And I, and I still think he's a lovely, still a decent price. Definitely for... Uh, how well they're doing at the minute. Got 3, 4, 10, 2, 1 his last five games. And I think he's definitely one to eye. That's for sure. That's our uh, defensive wise. We move on now. It's Rudiger, James, Trent, um, Sice, and Walker Peters. That's definitely on the screen. I will talk about the Chelsea duo. Um, you know, we get to know if they're going to get like a double game week. What I'm hearing through Ben Krellin is that if they win their FA Cup, I believe. The FA Cup game tomorrow, is it, against Luton, Chelsea, um, that they'll definitely have a double game week in 28, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that means they'll have Burnley definitely and they'll have Norwich as that other second fixture this game week. So I think that's lovely. Rhys James return as Laqueta, I believe, is injured, went off in that in that Liverpool game. Over the moon, by the way, Liverpool winning the cup, by the way. I was just over the moon. Um, but yeah. Reese James, I think, back to his best. I think he's definitely somebody to go for. I think, as well, definitely a lovely captaincy shout for this game week. If he does get the double Burnley and Norwich for game week 28, I think he's a lovely captaincy shout. We saw it can do early in the season. I didn't have him. But I think if he had that double, I think he's worthy of a captain shout because he's more likely to start as the quarter is out. Uh, Rudiger's the most nailed Chelsea defender there. Um, but I think double Chelsea defence, there's no blanks coming up. And, you know, a potential double coming up for Chelsea. I think going for double Chelsea defence isn't a bad idea, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go for that. Trent over Robbo. Uh, get straight to it. I think Liverpool, our defence looks great. Trent's less likely to be rotated. Um, you know, Robbo with Tissimikas. I know Trent's there with Milner, but that's less likely to happen on odd games. Um, but I think, obviously, with the ownership as well, you know, Robbo's like at 9% or something, 8%. This guy, Trent, 46%. I know he's not getting the returns, the attacking returns as much as Robbo, but I would rather go for Trent because of the ownership instead of Robbo. So that's how I would go for it. So I say play it safe and keep Trent still over Robbo. Uh, but definitely look at double Chelsea defence. That's for sure. Sice, like I said, uh, him and Saar go for that double Wolves defence. I think fixtures look great. Um, I think Sice is 
great at attacking returns. Altnore is there, but isn't he going to be rotation with Marcel? Who knows? Uh, but I think Sainz is the most net, well, along with Cody, most nailed on there. Um, Walker Peters is an interesting one. I know he's got a double coming up. He's got Villa and Newcastle. He's got Watford and Burnley and Leeds. He's getting this attack return. He's getting quite far up the pitch. A bit further up than uh, Levermento. Now, Levermento is still relatively more cheaper than Walker Peters. But I think Walker Peters offers a bit more on those like, attack and returns. I think watching him in games and stuff and looks, he gets so much up the pitch like Andy Robertson. And I think he's definitely a really good shot, especially for the double game week. And they've looked relatively sound, should we say, if we just have a look at the back. I know they lost 3-1 to Wolves one time. Um, we can have a look down here. 2-0 win, 2-0 win. 1-1 uh, or well, 3-2 away. You know, 1-1 one, one there shows they can compete with the you know the big boys up there. They beat uh, Brentford 4-1. I, I, I definitely, they look relatively tight at the back, just like Wolves, Southampton, they, they do. So that's that's the um, defence. We're going to move on to the midfield and forward line now and then wrap things up. So this is the midfield and forward line I've gone for, for any wild card or players to watch. All right. Um, so we've got Mount, Rafinha, Foden, Salah, Coutinho. And then we've got Adams, Kane, and Huang. Uh, talk about the midfield quickly and get through it. Uh, the reason off for Mount, going for that triple Chelsea, I think. Uh, I know you can see a lot of zeros there, but he's missed a lot of games through injury. And also this maybe, um, not injury, was it through the um, cup thing? They had the World Cup thing. Uh, but I do think next lovely fixtures, like the next few fixtures, especially if they do get that double and have no chat in there, I think Mount offers some really good you know, attack and returns, and he's definitely, he's a bit of a troll at times, but when he gets forward and he gets an attack and returns, he's got seven goals, seven assists so far this season. He's definitely somebody, one of them, for sure, when Chelsea do score, he's either got the goal, he's got the assist. He's one of them when Chelsea do score. So I do think he's a nice one, relatively cheap still. Yeah, nice, nice price bracket. I think he's definitely a good shout for the next few fixtures ahead. Definitely get him in your team. Um, we don't need to talk about Mo. We'll just get Mo out of the way. Um, Salah has to be in everyone's team. It's Mo Salah, so I won't say much about that. Uh, Rafinha, the reason he's got my team, I think how are Leeds going to do under this new management? Are they going to make an impact? You know, Leicester and Villa next. Last time they played Leicester, it was 1-1, one, one, was it? And Rafinha scored in that game. And last time they played Villa, it was 3-3 three, three in a comeback. So you can see here, uh, Leicester... Uh, game week 11 and he got a goal in that Rafinha and he didn't get anything in the 3-3 draw but it was a good comeback from him so it shows those two teams still can see goals Leicester and Villa aren't great at the back and we know that they aren't strong at the back they, they've still got their, their problems at the back uh, they're not like Southampton or Wolves so I think I'd be tempted to recommend it as well new manager bounce you know maybe things might be different I think Rafinha's still a good shout I really do think so. It's relatively nailed on. And um, and I'd, I would put him out there, recommend him, especially for this game week. Who knows? Uh, Foden's in there because a lot of people say, oh, what about a City attacker or defender? You haven't got a defender at all. Like, no City players, uh, Calvin. Uh, well, I've gone for Foden. Now, Foden's a bit of short times. KDB is there. But I think Foden, cheaper, saves you some money. And uh, relatively nailed on. 7-2, 8-3, 2 in his last five games. Got my United next. Could score against them. They aren't great at the back. Uh, Crystal Palace, Brighton, Burnley. You know, Liverpool, we're putting pressure on Manchester City. So I, I recommend at least a City a, a player, definitely in this. So I'd be mad probably to leave one out. It's hard to decide who's going to play. If I'm going for a defender, I'll have to put attacker in there. But I've gone for Foden. There's something about him being that little gem. Like Rafinha, another gem. Mount, another gem. So like on my poll, all these gems, there's different gems. Reese James a gem? Could be. Um, but I think there's some nice gems in there too. Uh, but Coutinho as well. We'll talk about him. He's 3 2 2 16 3. Got a double. He's got West Ham, Arsenal, Wolves, and Tottenham. Um, he does, I believe, take set pieces. One of them corners are free kicks, maybe both. Uh, but I was watching the game, like Ramsey's a bit more further back, nice push back about, and Coutinho's a bit more forward. So it's hard to decide who's going to do better. I would play it safe and just go for the one filler attacker. Either Coutinho or Ramsey, but I'd say if it's to do with set pieces, just Coutinho or maybe push forward, I'd go for Coutinho. Uh, look, magician. Um, not saying Ramsey's a bad, bad shout, but I think he's cheaper as well, cheaper than Coutinho. But I'm just saying Coutinho might 
offer a bit more in the next game week or two, especially this game week. That's what I think. Uh, forward line as well. Finish it off. We've got Che Adams. Uh, I'd rather go for him over Brozier. I think I know Brozier's cheaper, but I think Che Adams. Some people are saying Brozier's kind of pushed to the wing a bit more, and Che Adams is still that centre sort of player. And he's he's clinical. Six five nine seven two in his last five games. He's got Villa Newcastle aren't looking great. Trippier's out for Newcastle. Villa wise on great, you know what I mean? Uh, Watford Burnley leads after that. I, I tip Che Adams. He's a lovely shout. 6.9. His price is going to nearly 7 million. 5% owned. And 7 goals, 3 assists so far for um, Che Adams. I think he's a lovely one to go for. I think definitely go for him. I know his price difference, but I'd rather go for Adams over Brozier. I'd recommend him. I think he is going to do better than Brozier this game week, for sure. Um, and then we've got Kane in there. Like I said, don't neglect the single game week players. Uh, for sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, Harry Kane, I think, is on good form. Everton, you know, 11 15 2 2 2. Uh, either him or Son, but I think Kane's looking better now. I think he's got his head screwed on now. He's looking better. He's playing for Spurs. Uh, he's got Everton. He's got a double game because we're on mind in 29. Manchester United and Brighton. And he's got West Ham, Newcastle, and Villa. I think go for it. I think go for Harry freaking Kane, the Hurricane. I'm feeling it. I really am feeling it. I think Everton's still look atrocious. I really do. You know, playing like a championship team. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for Harry Kane in this. I, 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 but I bet him to get a goal or two against the Evertonians. I really do. Um, so never neglect, ignore the um, single game with ones for sure. Uh, Fwang's in there. It was a bit of a tough one. Like it's all about the midfielders. It was just a space I tried to just fill and just see if I could find somebody with good fixtures forward line. Because it's all about the midfield. The midfield is outplaying the forward line once again, uh, forwards again uh, this season. So it was either Fwang or Jimenez, but I think I got a bit put off Jimenez because he was benched in that 1-0 loss to West Ham. Uh, Fwang can be rotation, but he's cheap. It's 5.4. I mean, I know a lot of people can go for it at the start of the season. You can see the stats he was doing all the way till game week nine. He was doing well and he got some assists, uh, not assists, uh, some clean sheets. <laughs> uh, but he's got some, you know, he was doing well all the way up to game week nine. And then he kind of just fizzled out a bit. Then he was probably injury, was it? And then he was losing minutes. Uh, and then he's come back and he got a goal in game week 26 against Arsenal. Um, but I think he, like I said, it's all about the midfield. Uh, but if I had to pick someone, Fwang, I think he, double game week, Everton leads. Why not? So that's the sort of, lineup i'm going for and i i don't hate it i really do like it so guys um let me know in the comments what you're doing wild card free here and if you enjoy this video hit that like button and do subscribe guys i uh, really appreciate it and check out my last video should be appearing around left or right around here uh of my uh, free hit team activator from a few days ago it has changed it has changed but i will be doing a stream next two days anyway guys take care and bye bye